Hi everyone, um, I have been asked a couple of times about hotels in London and I've done a couple of reviews. Um, one of the videos that I do on um, Hub by Premier Inn actually is the YouTube video with the most views. Um, so I get asked it a lot and I think a lot of the questions about like major cities are where can I stay that's affordable, that's not too bad, um, where is it safe, what are the good areas, that kind of thing. Um, and I'm staying in Earl's Court this week and well I'm here for a few nights anyway and I decided to kind of go for a bit cheaper like sort of budget accommodation. Um, and I was looking for different things that I could go for, guest houses, B&Bs and um, a brand came up that I have used before. I used them because in London I was coming down on a weekend where a lot was going on and a huge number of the hotels were actually booked. Um, I'm doing the same for work this year, so I'm coming down during Wimbledon. And I think there's a really big uh, gig at the O2 on the night that I needed to be here. Um, so for times like those, um, and because I am out at work like the whole time that I'm here, and it's just a place to kind of have, to stay over at night, have a shower, get ready in the morning, it really doesn't matter. So I'd used this brand before um, for that reason. And I got asked by my friends about it because I didn't actually write about it or do a video or anything um, because it's the EasyJet brand. So this is the Easy Hotel. And knowing kind of their flights, quite budget, um, they can be really good getting you from A to B. But what would a hotel actually be like? Um, and they do charge you for everything, including a window. So. I happened to be in the room because there, were no, um, there was no possibility of um, getting another room because they must be like, fully booked out. And this is basically their bedroom without a window. Some people would feel incredibly claustrophobic but it has a nice kind of double bed, a bit of space so I've got my stuff on the floor. Um, and you do have your own bathroom so just over here. Towels, they do give you towels, um, and then in here is toilet, shower, sink, and it's kind of more than enough that, that you would need if you're just staying and need somewhere to sleep, need somewhere to kind of get ready in the morning and stuff. So because I've just gotten here, um, I look really tired and I couldn't be bothered with makeup today because I've come from Paris and I got up really early this morning to do some stuff in Paris um, and then got the Eurostar cross um, but all all I need because I'm doing like conference while I'm here um, and some meetups with like different bloggers um, and I'm meeting a friend with her baby so all I needed was a bed and somewhere that I could have a shower, um, you know, have your own bathroom, have a little bit of privacy. Because I thought about a dorm and I've stayed in like generator, hostel, um, on my way out to Paris. So I just needed a, a room for the night and like 30 quid for generator was like perfectly fine. But because I'm here for a few days, I just wanted like my own room and I'd actually looked at um, hostels and having your own room in a hostel but it was more expensive so just to like cut costs a little bit because Paris was a killer um, I decided to go for Easy Hotel um, and it's okay it's fine it's clean you know they they will give you whatever you ask for you'll just have to pay a little bit for it so I'm going to go and get a hairdryer because I need to um, get ready and go out and meet some bloggers tonight. Um, but I have to pay £10 for the hairdryer for my stay. I get to keep it until I check out, but they will charge you for like everything like that. The only thing that they don't charge for that I was kind of surprised is the towels. So you get your own towels. Um, 
Yeah, and uh, I mean, you get all of your linen and everything with the, the bed. Um, I think you have to pay for a TV remote, but I'm not going to be here enough to kind of use it. But if you're looking for a budget option, there's an easy hotel in Earl's Court. Uh, there's one in Old Street that I've used before that's on the Northern Line. Um, and it's quite close to King's Cross. So if you're like staying over and you need to like get a train out or whatever, there's kind of, there's a few options. Um, I'm trying to think of, of where else there is. I mean, the, it's all on the website. I'm not doing any work for them. I'm not promoting them. I just thought I would um, tell people about this option because a lot of people can't find anything below £100 a night. Um, and this was something like... 40 or 50 pounds um, per night for my own room. Um, the one in Old Street, I think when I booked that, um, it was brand new, Easy Hotel had just come out. So I think it'll have been last year now. Um, and they were just kind of springing up um, and they're launching them in different cities as well now. And I actually paid something like 35 pounds for my own room. And that one had a window um, in Old Street. I don't know whether that was just it was kind of midweek and that was a really good price. But I think it's definitely worth looking at. Uh, Premier and are pr pretty good. I've worked with them before. So um, Hub by Premier Inn can be really reasonable. They're about £60, £70 pounds a night. But you can definitely get things below £100. Pounds. And then obviously if you want to stay in a hostel and be in like dorm beds and then you can get it for a lot cheaper but in terms of your own private room with your own bathroom um, I think this is almost as cheap as they get um, and totally fine but you might just want to upgrade um, if you <laughs> decide to, to book it you might want to upgrade to a window because not everybody would like this it does feel like a bit of a cabin um, but I'm totally fine because it's just somewhere to sleep, basically. Um, and I thought I would give the uh, review, I suppose, of what it's like to kind of be in one of these rooms, just in case it is an option for somebody. Um, so it's not too bad. Um, I can cope with this and it means that I get to kind of stay in London for a few days and just have all of my own space and kind of sprawl out a little bit um, and not worry about anything um, or have to deal with anyone else's snoring. <laughs> um, and it, it, yeah, it kind of works. Um, they're in pretty good locations near uh, tube stations. So check out Easy Hotel and uh, let me know what you think.